Hi, are you thinking about starting to collect plants? This is a great idea and this video is perfect for you. Today we're going to be talking about 10 very easy plants to care for, so perfect for beginners. Okay, coming up. Okay you guys, so I have divided this list into two groups. Plants that love bright sunlight and plants that like lower light conditions. This is because all of these plants are very easy to care for, but they have different lighting requirements. And some of the plants in the list are actually very adaptable. So they may be okay in bright light conditions, but they may also be fine in lower light conditions. If this is the case, I will let you know with this. Okay, let's get to the list. If you live in a place with lots of light, the following easy plants are for you. The bunny ears cactus. This cactus is a very easy plant, as long as we can provide bright sunlight. Another tip that I can give you, and this goes with all cacti and succulents, is that we don't water them very often. This is because this cactus will retain lots of water, so we don't want to water too much. I usually water my cacti every two weeks or so, and I cut back on water during the winter. And one tip that I can give you is that you always let the soil dry in between waterings. This will keep your cactus very happy. Okay, on to the next, the aloe vera. This plant is super beautiful and also very helpful. We can use the gel of the aloe for our skin, so for skin irritation, for hair care, and many more things. This will be a very easy plant in a room with bright light conditions. Again, this is a succulent, so make sure that you don't water very often. Number three, the Senecio serpent. This is a very easy plant not only to care for, but also to propagate. You know, all we need to do is to cut a part of the Senecio and stick it in the soil, and it will grow. Actually, all of these are propagations. Another very cool thing about this plant is that it has some protection, so it's kind of like a wide powder on the leaves and this actually acts as a sunscreen because this plant really likes bright light conditions and it even comes with its own protection to the sunlight. So if you have a bright room and want an easy plant to care for and propagate, this plant is for you. Number four is one of the easiest plants I have ever cared for and this is the spider plant. And I wanted to include her not only because it's so easy to care for, but also because it has some new babies and I wanted to show you guys. These are the babies of the spider plant and this is how we propagate her. So we can just cut this off and plant them in soil or in water and they will grow their own roots and we can give them as gifts. This plant is really adaptable, so even if you have a room with lower light conditions, she will be okay. Okay. And of course, talking about easy plants that love bright sunlight, we could not miss the croton. This is a very cool plant because it actually brings some more color to your room. As you can see, the leaves have orange, yellow, they also have green but also red, so it just brings more color to the room. This plant prefers bright sunlight. If you don't provide the ideal amount of sunlight to this plant, it will let you know by putting out some green leaves like this one. So as you can see, this is a very healthy croton, but with a decrease of sunlight in Berlin, it's starting to put out some green leaves. So it is okay, if you want more color, you can provide more light to her, so either putting her closer to a window or bringing some grow lights for her. But again, this is a very easy plant and if you have a bright room, she will be very happy there. Okay my friends, so if you live in a place with lower light conditions or you have a room that gets lower light levels, there are some other plants that are better for this space. And the first one is the silver potos. In my opinion, this is one of the prettiest plants. First of all, the color is a deep green and then it has some variegation and this looks almost like it's shining. That's why it's called the silver potos. On top of that, this plant is really easy to care for and actually prefers lower light conditions. So if you're just starting with plants and you don't have so much sunlight in your place, this plant may be perfect for you. One tip that I can give you is that you always let the soil dry in between waterings. That way you will make sure that you don't overwater your potos. Number two is actually another super easy plant to care for and this is the ZZ plant. Now we have two big ZZ plants in our apartment, but I wanted to show you this one because actually accidentally we broke this branch off. 
So we decided to put it in water just to see if we could save her about four to five months ago. And it's actually getting some roots. So I think it will be okay. And I wanted to show you guys. But this plant is super easy and I would recommend it for you if you're just starting your collection. This is another plant that is very adaptable. So she will be happy in a bright room, but she will also be okay in a shady room. And I can tell you, she's up there with the spider plant. This is one of the easiest plants I've ever had. <laughs> Number three is the peace lily. And this is such a great plant. It's very beautiful and it can actually flower all year round as long as you provide the right conditions. So for me, I've noticed that when I provide brighter sunlight, it will be easier for her to flower. But I've seen with other people that they have them in lower light conditions and they still flower. So I guess it depends also on the environment where you live in. Anyways, this plant is really easy to care for and it's actually in the top 10 air purifying plants according to NASA. So if you have a bedroom with lower light levels, if you bring lots of them, they may be able to purify the air while you sleep. Number four is this queen right here and this is the golden photos. So as you can see, this is a beautiful plant and it's very easy to care for. And this one actually prefers lower light conditions. Another very cool thing about this plant is that it's really easy to propagate. So if you would like to experiment with propagation, this plant is also very good. We're actually propagating her right now in water and the coatings are doing really well. So yeah, I would really recommend this plant. And number five, of course, is the burst nest fern. This plant is also very adaptable, so it will be okay in brighter light conditions, but I have found that she is happier in lower light levels. So if you have a room with lower light levels, this plant will be happy there. It is also very easy to care for. Just make sure that you provide some humidity for her. So if you feel that the air is very dry, you can make a humidity tray or miss the leaves or try to increase humidity around her. But other than that, this is a beautiful plant and it's a very easy plant. So all of these plants are very easy to care for. If you wanna learn more about them, I'm gonna share with you a playlist with all these plants and specific tips about them. What other plants do you like? Make sure to comment below and as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao.